Welcome to Dryson Learns Things. I'm Dryson, and today I'm talking to Rachel Fishback from People of Ag. Hello. Hello, Dryson. I am excited to talk to you. I've been, I've been wanting to have more agriculture conversations, and I've been seeing you pop up my LinkedIn. So I've been following a little bit here. So I'm really excited to talk about some agricultural stuff today. Wonderful. I'm excited to talk too. Yay. Uh, we are talking specifically about the swine web, correct? Um, so, so yeah, maybe you can talk about people of egg or my work with swine web. Let's start with people of egg. Let's go there. Okay. Uh, what, what is it that you do? And just kind of give me a, a brief rundown. Sure. So, um, this year I decided to go on my own and form people of egg. Um, it's a media marketing company. I help companies, uh, come up with content for social media posting. So. Nice, nice. And what what inspired you to be in the agricultural sector? Because there's there's a lot of, of video out there to, between tech or software, healthcare, insurance, but I don't see a lot of people really diving into doing ag specifically. Well, um, I grew up with an ag background, and I farm with my brother here in southeast Iowa. So we uh, grow corn and soybeans. Um, I used to be uh, pretty active in the swine industry in marketing. Um, and I just saw a void with video and ag and companies that way. So that's where the idea came from, taking my roots and my background and expanding it to help others. I feel like we're cut from the same cloth. <laughs> yeah. I, I grew up on a, on a hog and swine, uh, sorry, cattle and, and pig farm. We did corn uh -huh. and soybeans growing up, and then I worked for Ag PhD for a little bit. So like, nice. I'm excited to talk to people that actually understand what it is that I, I get excited about. <laughs> Uh, talk to me a little bit about the, the swine web stuff that you've been working on. Sure. So, um, I collaborate with Jim Eady at swine web and, uh, do some video interviews for him. Um, I love going to the shows. I love seeing the products, talking to colleagues in the pork industry. Um, and there's always something new to learn at each one. Um, and, and what's really surprising to me, you know, when you think of egg, you think, usually of farmers, combines, animals. You don't think about all the professionals that are behind just one brand or one field. So the swine industry, you know, the vets, the equipment, the builders, um, there's just so much to capture just in different industries that um, I'd love to help share. Oh man, absolutely. I get really like weirdly nerdy talking about some of the technology that goes in like planting crops and stuff. The uh -huh. fact that, you know, most, not most, but like new tractors today will easily put a Tesla to shame when you start looking at just how much technology is in there for like, we've got to have downforce. We've got to have the spacing, right? We've got to have this and this and this and this. So I guess I want to talk a little bit more about which side do you like more? Do you like the, the livestock side or more of the row crop? I know a hard question. I don't really have a preference. Um, I just think that, you know, people are so stuck in thinking that farmers are wearing bib overalls in the 1950s and they should be driving old equipment. And, um, you know, they have this persona in their head of what ag is. And just like every other industry, ag has advanced, you know, you know, you look, Look at how far our refrigerators or our vehicles have come in the past 50 years. Egg is no different. And just trying to eliminate um, the false things out there about egg and farmers is is one of my goals. Absolutely. Uh, for, a, for a couple of years, I worked with Ag PhD, and they are, I know you know, they're an educational uh, mm -hmm. for farmers how to grow better crops and stuff. And one of the reasons that they have their own in-house TV production crew is because whenever they hired in the early days an outside company to do it, it was always, let's drive a 1930s tractor down a cornfield of the sunset and a barbed wire <laughs> fence. And it's like, no, some of this stuff is the most cutting edge biochemistry, some of the most cutting edge technology, right. like all this stuff. And you're a hundred percent right. Is people think it's just some people playing out in the dirt and it's, it's not that it's so much more than that. Yeah. So it, it's so funny to me, just the personas when you travel to a city or, you know, people find out that you're an egg, the questions that you get. And I mean, like you and I, we grew up with corn, soybeans, cattle, and pigs. There's so much more to ag out there that intrigues both of us. You know, just think about that. And we have an ag background. Yep. 
Absolutely. Uh, this last weekend, I was in New York for a, a video trade show, and I was laughing because I'm sitting amongst all these these people that are from California and from like Texas and just all over the place, and we're having conversations um, like in Times Square about specialty crops, like where do you get your nuts and your broccoli and your this and that. And it, right. It, you're right because I come from the rural of corn and corn and soybeans, and so it's like I don't know how to grow that. How do you do that? What is what is CEC? What is this? What is that? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's so intriguing to me. So. Nice, nice. Well, talk to me a little bit about uh, the video work you're doing. I know we can't talk specific products because you know NDAs and that fun stuff. But what do you, what are some of the the videos you work on for people as far as a a service? Um, so aesthetics, um, interviews, uh, coaching, getting people um, to talk on camera um, in case they're confused. You know, sometimes people just don't know where to start. Um, they want to make videos. They they want to put their name out there, their brand out there. They just don't know um, what avenue to go. And so with my marketing background, um, I kind of merged that together. Um, and then you have smaller companies that uh, don't have a marketing department. And so they freelance hire me to post on social media for them or edit things for them. So, so yeah, it's, it's kind of a Right now, it's kind of a little bit of everything. I'm still kind of new to forming this on my own and uh, going from there. Let's talk about that experience because I, I love hearing stories of people's like their startup journey, their adventure, the growth. So being that you're you're kind of new to, to people of ag, how's mm -hmm. it been? Have you been excited? Have you been nervous? Talk to me a little bit about it. A little bit of every, everything, you know, there, there's always those nerves of, you know, wow, do I have enough work this month or um, where can I go from here? <laughs> uh, and then also trying to reel my creativity in. Sometimes I just come up with so many ideas and, and uh, I can't accomplish all of them. So, so yeah, but I mean, five years ago, I didn't talk on camera. I didn't do video. And so it's just, you know, moving with the times and the marketing world. Um, so getting comfortable with that. I love it. I love it. And so far, been loving it? I love it. Yes. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear. Uh, if people want to learn more about you or find people of ag, where can they go to learn more? Sure. Um, so I'm Rachel Fishback. I'm on LinkedIn. I also have a people of ag uh, LinkedIn page, TikTok page, um, and uh, uh, website, peopleofag.com. Um, if you'd like to follow me more personally, um, iowafarmmama.com or iowafarmmama on TikTok and Facebook. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm always making videos. I, I love, I love talking on camera. So I did not know those TikToks that a TikTok existed. I don't, I'm going to follow that right now. <laughs> uh, before I let you go, if there's one thing you wish that, that the general population knew about agriculture in general, what would you wish you could just shout out to the rooftops to tell everybody? Wow. I would say there's a lot of caring people out there doing egg, whether it's growing crops for your table, growing crops for livestock, or just growing your livestock. And they are really utilizing technology um, in more ways than you could ever imagine. Uh, just like everyone listening, you know, on your computer, uh, the, the things that are ran by technology, um, just the changes that I've seen over the past 20 years in my adulthood ha have been mind blowing. So I'm, I'm very excited to see all the new products coming out and new changes happening um, in egg. It's not the 50s, 60s, 70s, or even 90s anymore. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> well, perfect. Well, this is where we're going to wrap it up. So Rachel, thanks so much for being on the show. For those listening, today's episode is sponsored by Made by Things and their Discovery Workshop, which is your content brainstorming session. We'll roll that ad in just a second. But Rachel, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Dryson Learns Things is brought to you by the Discovery Workshop from Made by Things. If you are looking for a content partner to help you brainstorm, set goals, and create content that truly resonates with your audience, check us out at madebythings.com discovery.